Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I am coming to you with step three of breaking down the manicure which is cuticle care. And to me I feel like this is one of the most important steps because if you don't properly care for your um, do the cuticle cures, cures care step properly you can either one still have pieces of dead cuticle um, that which is dead skin left on your nail plate which um, will make your manicure not look as nice and refined if you're not doing cuticle care and pushing your, your cuticles back and removing the dead skin you can end up with having hangnails or if you're not properly if you're not removing just dead skin if you're also cutting live tissue you can end up with hangnails and no matter what you do when you have hangnails there's really nothing you can do because it's like inflamed red and it just doesn't look as great you can have the best polished nails but then you see all the hangnails and it just makes the finish look not look as great so that's why um this i feel i feel like this step is most important because it will ultimately kind of um impact how your nails look in the end um also, but if you already have hangnails, there's really nothing that a nail tech can do or anyone can do. You just have to let those heal and using, you know, ointments like, you know, um, Neosporin or tea tree oil, things like that, using that on them to help them heal quicker will work. Um, but in the meantime, these are things you can do to prevent getting hangnails and to keep your nails and the nail plate in a healthy condition and looking beautiful and pristine as if you go and get your nails manicured every single week. So there are going to be several different products I'm going to talk about that you can use um, that will help make cuticle removal easy to where you don't need to use a nipper. Um, I generally don't use a nipper all the time just because I have difficulties with my hands sometimes. I have trouble gripping and then my left hand is much much weaker than my right so I find that it's also difficult doing my right hand with the nipper so I do alternative methods to nipping but I am also going to show you uh, each step just so that you can know how to do whichever step you choose to do um, and do it properly so why is cuticle care important um, so basically it will prevent um, chipping and lifting of your um, and peeling of your nail polish because when you have dead skin on your nail plate and you polish over it or apply nail enhancements over it that's what causes general that's one of the things that can cause um, chipping lifting and peeling also, um, taking proper care to only cu cut the cuticle, which is actually dead skin, will prevent hangnails, given that you're not a, a biter or a picker. And then also pushing your um, the epinicium back, which is the skin that you shouldn't actually cut. Um, if you don't push that back, what a lot of times may happen is that as your nail grows out, um, as your nail is growing out, the skin here, which is the epinicium, which is the rim here, this is, which is a protective barrier that should not be cut, this will grow forward with the nail if you're not pushing your pushing that back regularly, and that's called nail pterygium. And um, basically what it does is going to make your nail base look really, really short. And then sometimes it's not going to grow down evenly. I will have pictures um, of what nail tergium looks like. And then it also will help for um, smoother application of your polish and any nail enhancements. And then also it enables the achievement of a beautifully refined finished look. So your nails just look fabulous. So those are... Um, um, the reasons why you should make sure that you're doing proper nail care and um, again I do want to clarify cuticle is dead skin it is what grows forward from underneath the epinicium as your nail grows this band is living tissue so you never ever want to cut living tissue cutting living tissue is what leads to getting hangnails. So you only want to remove the dead tissue that's the thin white um, s tissue that's left on your nail plate. Um, I'm trying to think, let's see. So those are the main things that you wanna, I wanted to make sure to distinguish between because a lot of people 
um, I found our um, confused cuticle with eponychium and unfortunately because it's used interchangeably. So the first step we want to do is to soak your nails. The reason for soaking is it's because it is going to soften the cuticle and make it easier to remove. You can add a couple different products to your manicure, to your water to allow to, for additional softening of the cuticle. This is a manicure soak by Cushio. It softens, cleanses, and refreshes the hands and nails. Or you can use um, like an effervescent soak. This one is by OPI. It does the same. And then these are a couple different like little um, fizzies that you can use. Um, one is scented. One is um, not, not this one. is just more sanitizing than it does have any scent. So you can add that to the water as you're soaking your um, soaking your nails. So once you've done soaking your nails, you can then start to push back your cuticles. So basically what you're going to do is take your um, pusher and push back. I like the julep pusher because it has um, blunted edges. It's not very sharp but it is very effective. So basically what you're going to do is take and it is kind of curved so you just want to press gently and push back the eponychium here. And then you want to also make sure you get along the side walls. I get a lot of build up there and you just want to kind of run along these sides to remove any cuticle and cuticle is just that white um, stuff, the dead skin that is left on the nail plate once as your nail grows out. So that's all you want to remove. So you just take and remove that. Now there are other tools that you can use. Um, these are more standard um, pushers. But the problem, the reason why I don't like these very much is because their edges tend to be um, fairly sharp, which means you can easily um, damage and put grooves into your nail plate or dig too far in with these. So you do have to be very careful. If you're using one of these, you want to make sure you're kind of going at an angle. You don't want to come like very steep down. You just want to kind of run it with the... Um, curve of your nail and push um, push forward and then use this blunted end to remove to go around and lift up any um, leftover cuticle or um, if you have not done a manicure in quite a long time what you can also do is use a cuticle softener or cuticle remover product um, and apply that to your already um, wet nail just place like a drop or two um, on there and generally you would place it on all your nails and as you once you're done you generally only need to leave it on there for no more than like anywhere from 10 to um, 20 seconds 30 seconds at the most so you do want to kind of work a little bit quickly and then use that to help push off any um, dead skin if you have not had a manicure in quite a while. The softening agent will help just make it easier to lift up any remaining um, dead skin. And if you are using one of these type of products, you do want to make sure that you, um, you immediately um, rinse either with water or soapy water to deactivate the softening agent because what will happen if you leave this to sit on your nail it will continue to soften your nail plate and will damage your nail plate so what I would generally do is um, just take and rinse the nail the hands all your nails in the water and then follow with soapy water. Um, I would make sure to read the manufacturer's instructions on what you should do to cleanse the nail plate after using a softening product. Um, another option that you can do if you don't feel comfortable using one of the pushers is just take um, a scrub. This one is a very very fine scrub. I would use something with like a slightly higher grit but 
just for the purpose of this video I just pulled this one out so basically you would just put a dollop of it on your nail um, I would already have I'm sorry push back the cuticle prior to applying the scrub and then I would take the scrub apply it and then um, run it along my nail plate in circular motions and making sure to get in the sidewalls and then pulling back to make sure you're getting any remaining skin that's left at the very base of the nail and then just do that for like maybe 10 to 30 seconds until you feel like you've gotten it all and then once you've thoroughly cleansed the nail plate of any um, remaining cuticle go back and rinse the scrub off and if you find that you still have like some stubborn pieces left this is where you would then proceed to using um, one of the cuticle nippers to remove the um, any remaining cuticle that is left on the nail plate I would maybe dry it off so you can really thoroughly see if there's any dead skin still left that needs to be removed there's a little bit on my ring finger here so basically you would take your nipper just run it alongside there you're not cutting the eponychium and then you're just going to nip any pieces that remain and you don't want to pull you just want to nip and keep going around until you've removed all the dead skin and you want to make sure that your nippers are very sharp because if they're not sharp it's going to force you to pinch and then pull which is not good you don't want to have to pull you should be able to just nip move nip move and nip and move so um, that is how you should be doing your nipping um, there are different types of nippers but again even for all of the nippers that you use versus the cuticle pushers that you use you want to use something you want to kind of like a lot of them are metal plated you can tell the difference between metal plated ones because they are generally a little bit more shinier you want ones that are like stainless steel or like this one which is like teflon um it's a much um, sturdier coating on here it's not going to chip plated materials will chip implements will chip once they chip they will start to rust as they are come in contact with water any solvent or any other product and once they begin rusting you do not want to use them any longer because it's now contaminated and you don't want to transfer the rust into your skin especially if you have any hangnails and if you do have any hangnails which currently I do not um, have a little piece here, but you would just want to get underneath the hangnail and then clip as close as you can so that you don't have any piece that's flapping, which is going to make you um, pick at it. So that is basically what you would do. And then one other thing I would also recommend um, just in terms of regular maintenance, um, whether it's in between, um, is take your scrub and do this like on a weekly basis at the end of your shower and that will help keep any um any um um dead skin away and you keep that removed so that your manicures are always looking really nice and pristine you can even still use a scrub while you have polish on um and just kind of push back while you're scrubbing to get anything that's underneath there that can be stuck to the nail so that is pretty much everything that you want to do um and lastly after you have um done the manicure um, the cuticle care is you would just apply your cuticle oil I apply it right above the nail at the base of the nail and then I just take and rub it in 
um, completely around the skin, around the nail, and also rubbing it into the nail plate. Also, if you have any free edge, getting it underneath your nail and then allowing that to maybe sit for like a minute or two to kind of just absorb into your nails because you do want your nails to be flexible so that they can absorb and absorb an impact. So that is everything that you would need to use. I will have all the products listed below and any information and any additional information regarding how I use the product in the description box as well. So um, that is it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. Subscribe, like, and share. And have a great day.